Hello everyone, we're back in the Attack from Multiverse project. In a previous video, I did a lineup of the different Horde skins. So this time, I'm gonna be doing a lineup of the different Alliance skins. Now, uh, in much earlier videos, I already did sort of a preview for the different Alliance skins, but I'm gonna be doing something similar to the one I did for the Horde skins. So let's begin. So, so far we have 8. We have the original one and then 7 alternate ones. Now again, the idea here is that each skin supposedly uh, represents a different timeline. So you have here the Holy Horde. Uh, in this timeline, what happens is that after the Second War, the Orcs are put in internment camps uh, headed by the Order of the Silver Hand. So Troll becomes a devout follower of the Holy Light. So you will see later on that the different units are basically sort of humanized versions of the Horde races. And then you have the Pact of the Forsaken. Now the Pact of the Forsaken represents the uh, sort of darker versions of the original races. So you have undead Forsaken humans, you have wretched blood elves, and you even have dark iron dwarves. The premise here is that um, after the Third War, the Horde doesn't ally with the Forsaken, which is why these groups that I've mentioned are the ones who join forces. Now you have the Kid and Tor. Uh, so in this timeline, Kalduza delves into the magic used by Gul'dan, used to uh, speed up the aging process of the Orc Warriors during the First and Second Wars. So he kind of reverse engineers it, that's why later on you will see that the different units are sort of child versions of the original ones. And then you have here the Brotherhood of the Uncrowned. Now recall that the Uncrowned is the rogue organization uh, recently introduced in the world of Warcraft. Uh, supposedly they're the ones who uh, pull strings behind scenes. So uh, what happens in this timeline is that instead of having to go through the Scourge invasion, what happens is the Brotherhood uh, orchestrates revolutions throughout the Seven Kingdoms. That's why uh, you will see later on that most of the units are the bandit, sort of uh, bandit versions of the original units. And then you have here the Alliance of Darnassus. Now, uh, in this timeline, what happens is that Sylvanas uh, launches her first strike in the Eastern Kingdoms instead of Kalimdor. So what happens is that the Alliance or what remains of the Alliance forces are mostly uh, based in Kalimdor. So you have the Galeans, uh, Knight of Highborn, Kultirans, and even some Draenei. Now for the last two, it's basically sort of uh, class versions of the different units. So for the Holy Arasi Empire, you have the uh, sort of Paladin versions of the different units. And then for the Ebon Crusade, uh, basically, all the units have been turned into Death Knights, so I haven't really thought of uh, how to deal with the stories for each, but basically those are the premises. And again, these are the Town Halls, so you will notice that uh, for some factions or, or for some skins, uh, the models will be, uh, some models will be more different than others. So let's go over the different buildings and then before we go to the um, units themselves. So uh, now you have the different uh, kits. And then you have here the castles. Uh, you will also notice that some are renamed but basically it's uh, basically the same. Then you have here the barracks and their equivalents. And then you have the lumber mills. Blacksmiths. Farms. and the different altars.
the Ark and Sanctums. The workshops. And you have here the different towers. You have the Arkin Vaults. And then finally the Griffon Aviaries. Okay, so now let's go over the different units. So first things first, you have the uh, original humans over here and their different counterparts. So again, for the uh, Holy Horde, you have uh, the humans are turned into orcs. And then for the uh, Forsaken, you have the undead version. Kind of like similar to the Ebon Crusade. So similar but again differences. The Forsaken ones are more zombie-like. And then finally, you have the Kid in Tor. Again, supposedly these are adults trapped in the bodies of children. That's really different from uh, the what happens in the First and Second Wars where you have uh, child orcs and uh, who were age... Uh, who were age faster than normal by Gul'dan. So it's kind of like the opposite. And then you have the ones for the Brotherhood. And then you have the Gilnean versions. And then finally the Priest or Paladin versions. Okay, so next one you have the different elves and their counterparts. So you will notice again uh, for the original Alliance of Lordaeron, uh, I changed them back to High Elves. And then for the Holy Horde, you have, uh, well, they were replaced differently. So you have uh, Ogres, Forest Trolls, Tauren, and Jungle Trolls. And then you have the Wretched versions for the Pact of the Forsaken. Kid versions. The Bandit versions. And then you have here the Highborn versions. And you even have a uh, hippogriff instead. And then you have the paladin versions. And finally the death knight versions. Next, let's move on with the dwarves. So you have the original ones here. Again, unfortunately, I haven't really worked on the siege weapons yet. But as you can see here, uh, for the most of the units, it's completed. So you have here the Rifleman and Equivalents. Oh, by the way, uh, for as you can see here, for the Alliance of Darnassus, you will notice that the uh, Dwarven units uh, wear the uniform of... Uh, Admiral Proudmore, well, well at least the uniform worn by Admiral Proudmore in the expansion campaign, in the Rexar campaign. So uh, again, these are meant to uh, represent the Colterans instead. Then you have here the flying machines. And then finally the Griffon Riders. So unfortunately, I still haven't done a kid version of the Griffon Dwarf. So you have a, an empty space here. So again, I'm much more complete with the Alliance skins compared to the Orc one as in in the previous uh, video. So let's move on with the heroes. So again, much more complete. 
You have here the uh, original ones. Again, the blood mage is transformed into a high elf. For the holy horde, you have again orc, tower, and then jungle troll. And then you have undead versions for the forsaken one. Uh, for the uh, paladin and the archmage, you have a dark iron mountain king. For again, this is the pack of the forsaken, and then finally a. Uh, uh, wretched blood elf and then you have the uh, child versions for the Kirin Thor and then you have the bandit versions for Brotherhood of Uncrowned and then you have here the uh, numerous Kalimdor forces of the alliance of Darnassus you have the Drane, Kultirans and then you have the, uh, what do you call this, uh, Highborn. For the palette, uh, for the Holy Arasi Empire. And finally you have the Death Knight versions for the Ebon Crusade. And that's about it for now. So hopefully I'll be able to finish the last Griffon Rider and also start with the Siege Engines. Although uh, I'm still uh, more or less one of these factions is going to get the uh, War, what do you call this? The Reign of Chaos version which is the Steam Tank. Though I'm not sure which one to give it to. Okay, so again, human skins are much more completed compared to the Orc ones plenty of lacking one uh, for the uh, arc skins I still uh, lack many units uh, anyways I'm also starting to incorporate some of the uh, modified build uh, modified uh, rather the custom models for the night uh, night elves and the undead ones as well so uh, I hope you stay tuned for this project uh, so far it's going although it's a little bit slow at least it's moving forward and I'm pretty excited to be able to finish this so again I hope you subscribe to see what uh, uh, to see the progress I have for this project and I hope you also join me in hiveworkshop.com so that uh, I'll be able to uh, what do you call this take into account some of your own inputs on how to uh, uh, on how to do uh, other units for maybe uh, rather on how to go about with uh, the missing units so far and maybe you can even think of your own uh, cotton coat skin that you'd like to be implemented so I guess that's it for now and I'll see you next time